Yeah. Um, good afternoon, guys. Just wanted to make another video. This one may be a little shorter. And it's gonna concern people are not gonna like you when you stop when you stop smoke weed. Now people will be able to see the changes in you. When I was smoking weed, I didn't look good at all. My face was more pulled in. I wasn't taking care of myself, I wasn't dressing properly. I just didn't care about anything because I didn't care. I was just busy smoking weed and that's the main thing I was doing and every day smoke weed until I die. You know, but when God helped me to change, move away from that, started to notice little things in myself like, hey, you need to start to dress better. You need to start to take care of yourself, Let's do a little exercise. <laughs> you know, um, just try your best to help yourself. When I started to do that now, it's like people started to look at me like, um, oh, he think he better than me and he think he this and he think he that. But never really had a conversation with people concerning me quit smoking weed. And many of them people out there, I mean, even smoke weed with. You know, Jack? He ended off on my journey of smoking weed by myself. You know, Jack? So, just remember, people not gonna like you when they see little subtle changes in you and they see you try to become better in life. Because um, that's how people are, HA. People not gonna want to see success for you, not gonna want to see nothing good for you. Only the real friends that was there when you was doing it and when you was not doing it, you know, these are the people that will really appreciate their presence and want to see the best for you. So, just keep in mind that when you, sm when you stop smoking weed, you don't care who you be out there. And you see, you start improving, and you see you start look good, and you take care of yourself. And I go hate that mentally. And that's just the spirit, so check whatever spirit in them that are jealousy or whatever, then just not gonna like that, you check. You, you might just uh, do field work. You want me to first your um, arm, Jolly Albert Epicurean. Niggas hate me. Niggas hate me. But when it's so crazy when me be on, uh, and me smoke weed and me look like a crackhead and just nah, care about myself. And so everybody just pass me and everybody good, everybody great. As soon as I quit smoking weed, I'm gonna start realizing myself that I need to do certain changes. And so you see, the niggas try to do them best for try to compete with me. And so. Maybe I had this hairstyle yeah. nigga trying the hairstyle, go trying the hairstyle so he can come away thinking that he can be me. Or uh, something like that. Like me fine if I trying the hairstyle, but why well, come come over and compare me with you? And you can just see that little little certain something there, yeah, so you know? And then bro, bro, me now hold like a hand. You know, check? I I can make the decision myself. Me not hold her hand. Me not, me not be her daddy. For, me, for tell her you quit smoking weed. Hey, Jack. Man, they never know when me may go through with that shit. So now, me make for me efforts to change. You ain't know why I go through with daddy too. But I need to look into herself and make and change herself. If I want for even change, that's a big thing. But stop watching me, King. And stop compare me. I you know what me, what me, what shoes me have. You can't walk in from my shoes, and you know what I'm walking from my shoes. You check. Bro, and I might just, might just had a better position than me also in the place, in Epicure. And I'm um, just do a pack shelf, pack rice, pack chicken, not pack rice, pack flour, pack sugar, cans, pack water. And bros, and then still pissed off. When niggas out there that just come on a drive, park, lift, and I work with the bigger heads and them and this and that, probably even they get paid more than me. And bros and them just watch me like, oh, watch you, you think he this and you think he that. So as me say, you have to learn how to try to save yourself, because nobody else now do me. And me 
be not afraid for change for me life because nobody else not gonna do it for me. Check it. So yeah, um the yeah, moral of the story. People gonna hate you, they gonna realize now you try to quit smoking and they gonna realize that you try to elevate your life. And they're not gonna like that. Cause then the busy caught up in the food and the drama. Check that you know hand zero thing zero concern or zero um knows about. No, the next seven you can't save everybody. You know, A's went up on A's on YouTube as me tell her on YouTuber that quit smoking weed. And I think this is maybe like his second year into the journey and he do real good for yourself. Bring up one little shot on YouTube saying that you can't save everybody. You know, remember Pete, like, when you quit, you're gonna have people that not gonna wanna quit. So you're not about to go and try to inspire people like that for going to go quit, quit and so kind of body not gonna never change. Now, me stop this video up on YouTube, you're up in the air. You can make a decision if you want for or not because you are free of life. That's where I'm coming from, me not hold nobody hand. But. Just remember, you can't change nobody. And, you know what I mean? Like, you tell somebody about them, some of your people now, I'm going to never listen to you, check. So, you have to move on by yourself. Check. Be the man, move on by yourself. Figure out, feel your own way. Check. Yeah, but, let me look at two, something you want to talk about. Well, the story, you know, what I mean, people will hate you when you stop, and you know, I'll have everybody in the arsenal, even when they're in the, even in the arsenal, and you can't change everybody. If Bruno wants to listen to you, move on. All right, Kevin.